for today's video, we'll be discussing the application for permit to use loose leaf as prescribed by Revenue Memorandum Circular No. 68-2017. BIR Form 1900, or the application for authority to use computerized accounting system or components thereof, or loose leaf books of accounts, should be accomplished accordingly. A separate video has been prepared to guide our taxpayers in filling up this form. The following are the documentary requirements necessary for the application. First is the duly accomplished BIR Form 1900. Next, the taxpayer should have a sample format and printout to be used. And lastly, the sworn statement in lieu of the investigation pursuant to RMC No. 13-82. The sworn statement should specify the following. First, identifying the books to be used, invoices or receipts and other accounting records, together with the serial numbers of principal and supplementary invoices or receipts to be printed. In addition, the sworn statement should specify the commitment to permanently bind the loose leaf forms within 15 days after the end of each taxable year or upon the termination of its use. The requirements, as stated, for evaluation and approval of the application, should be filed where the principal office of the taxpayer is registered. Reminder: The PTU loose leaf issued to the taxpayer's head office, shall cover all identified registered branches, and shall be valid in any RDO where the taxpayer has registered branches at the time of issuance. Updating of PTU shall be required for subsequent additional branches. Lastly, a certified true copy of the PTU issued by the RDO of the head office, must be furnished to each branch authorized to use the approved loose leaf. Again, we thank everyone for listening and watching this video. You may reach us through the following contact details for any tax concerns. Thank you and stay safe.